quick. During your relationship, did you sleep with Jade's close friend? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you all with another video. Hope you all had a great week. Hope you all having a great weekend so far. Today is Friday, TGIF. And also, this will be the uh, approximately the third time, maybe the fourth, or well, the third time this week that I had to do GFT. Yes, GFT stands for Grown Full Talk, in case you don't know what that is by now. So what I need you all to do before I start this story, I know you all heard the intro. You heard the pants clacking. Man, man, man. Anyway, we're going to dive into it in a second. But I need you all to do me one special favor right now. Get those sweet, precious kids out the room right now so us grown folks can have a dialogue and see what's going on in Georgia. I mean, Georgia, what's been going on? My people in Florida, glad as hell, but Florida, you just never know what's in the woodworks for you all, too. Big shout out to all my people in Florida also. But anyway, get those kids out the room right now so we can see what's really going on inside this old filthy, funky bedroom. I mean, damn, how in the hell? Are you going to have a damn curtain up with duct tape? I mean, do anybody around there have some nails or some thumbtacks? But anyway, baby, this is the reason why. I'm too busy having sex. But anyway, get those kids out the room right now. Okay, hopefully those kids are out the room right now. If they're not out the room by now, tough. Double D Teddy. And, you know, in case it's not a double D, today we will take all cup sizes, all week long, really, all sizes matter because I got a comment and it really broke my heart. Somebody was telling me, Trey, why you got to be a double D? I said, well, you got the mosquito bites in my mind. I ain't tell her that because I'm very respectful, you know. So I told her in my mind, you just got them little mosquito bites, them baby bumps, what we call them. But anyway, big shout out to her. May God touch you one day. Uh, you need to be touched by an angel, Della Reese, somebody. But anyway, now, we have a story coming out of Griffin, Georgia. Yes, Georgia. Big shout out to everybody in Georgia, everybody in Macon, ATL, and everybody in Albany. And yes, I do have some people in Albany. I'm not from Albany, but I do have some people there. Because I had one person ask me about 30,000 times, are you, are you from Albany? Hell no, but I got much love for my people in GA. Much love to everybody who got love for me. But let me tell you, somebody who didn't have no love, and this story is still in the making right now, but it goes to show you the audacity the nerve of some people. And also, why would you get mad at the woman or, or men? If you get your wife cheating on you, why get mad at the man unless he flat out disrespectful and saying, look, man, this is my cookie right now. You're not doing no damage to that. That's mine. And, and your wife be over there like, yeah, he did more. But anyway, now, what happened, as you all can tell, you have two people sleeping. And no, I couldn't play the whole video. The video was very edited. And I will leave the link uh in the description or in the comment section so you all can go check it out. But I'm still trying to find, I'm still trying to find the whole video because evidently we must have missed something. But what happened is you had a couple. Well, I hate to say a couple because the way it goes, you have a guy who go by the name of David Harris called Junior Cag or Cag Jr. I don't know how you're a junior and you damn 30 years old. To me, it sounds like you're damn near up there with a senior. But anyway, now he was allegedly, even though, and the reason why I said allegedly, yes, we see him in bed. But the person that caught that L, who goes by the name of Diamond, allegedly was 16 years old. So, David, if she was 16 years old and you're 30, oh, shame on you, shame on you. So, they lay in there, probably just got through knocking boots all night long or whatever. And another thing that I've been hearing, too, is that this was his mom house. And, Mom, how did you let all this go on under your roof? Did he sneak her in? I mean, this is why you can't let all this go down inside your home. But, allegedly, this was David Harris mom house and i'm like well damn don't anybody in there got some buckety bucks some damn money to fix the damn blinds i mean put some regular curtains in there i mean what's really going on with people but anyway so lo and behold after they got through knocking boots they lay in there probably had six all in the room to smell everything miss sierra dewberry aka crazy cc is what they call her she walks in the room with the damn frying pan close the door 
pull out that thing and start swinging all you heard was, oh, girl, don't hit me no more. But just think for a second right now. What if you was laying there asleep or whatever, and you know, you creeping or whatever, and all of a sudden you wake up with a banging sound, a banging headache. I mean, man, my heart goes out to Miss Diamond. But they always say diamonds are formed under pressure, but that's too much damn pressure to make a diamond. I mean, damn, her name was already Diamond, but I guess Miss Sierra, Miss Cece, had to see if she was really a diamond. But why get mad at the man? Why not go upside his head with a damn fry pan? Because number one, he's 30 years old, and I'm quite sure, Sierra Dewberry, you may be in your 20s, but you're looking at every bit of a crazy 50 years old in the face. But then, you had a nerd to set up a GoFundMe. Why set up a GoFundMe when you videotape yourself beating the hell out of this person? And that's not even your home. That's not your husband or anything like that. Number two, she's a damn minor. I mean, like, what's really going on? So, Sierra was arrested and everything. She's saying, as you all can see, they're trying to take her from her four kids. But you should have been thinking about your four kids instead of thinking about some damn wood. That's all I'm trying to say right there. Now, I'm sorry if the guy broke your heart, if he was cheating on you or whatnot. But how in the hell are you going to attack Diamond? Evidently, you knew Diamond. You knew the girl was damn 16 years old. So, Sierra, I couldn't find your age. How old are you? Because you're looking at a bit of a crazy 50 in the face. But how old are you? And also, to David Harris, Cag Jr., or Junior Cag, whatever his damn name is, Shame on you. Leave them young cookies alone. But this is what happened when you want your cake and eat it too. Now, after Sierra got through smashing Diamond in with that damn skillet, she then proceeded to put the paws on it. Yeah, she had put the skillet on it first and then the paws. To me, that was an ass whooping like we ain't seen since the 90s or the 80s or the damn uh, two, the early 2000s. There ain't no new millennial ass whooping. That's an old school ass whooping. I mean, damn. Get waking up out your damn sleep with a damn may not outside your head. And for my people who wondering what a may not is, a may not is a knot on your face or on your ass that may not ever go away. That's a good chance that it may stay there. But also, let this be a lesson to you all creeping and everything. And also, shame on guys and women who do this thing. If you know, if you know you're involved in a relationship with somebody, be faithful with the person. And if you're going to cheat, I mean, damn, I hate to say it, at least cheat smarter than that. Don't be laying up in the damn house. Well, you, well, even though it's your mama house, which is down bad also, and mamas and daddies, why do y'all let y'all grown as kids lay up in your damn homes? That's why I don't understand. No reason why this guy, 30 years old, ain't got the hell out yet. 30 years old, you probably be in your own damn place, driving your own car. I don't know if you got a car or not. It don't matter. But you're supposed to be in your own place, doing your own thing. And it's going to offend some of the people, but most of the people that probably offend is the broke-ass people, which I don't really give a damn. I'm just here as the messenger. Don't kill the messenger. But anyway, now, another thing also, if Mr. David Harris, you know, was handling his business, he can afford to fix that room up. Number one, afford to put some decent curtains or blinds up. And then number two, get his own place. But you laid up in your mama house and keeping a smart mouth. But anyway, now, Sierra, I don't know what kind of help you're going to need or whatnot. I don't know what kind of help you're going to get because they put a protest together to take down your GoFundMe page. And they took it down. GoFundMe, like, no, we can't help her. How dare you going to sit up here and assault somebody and then ask for the public help? I mean, damn, we hate you got cheated on. But number one, the girl was 16 years old, which was a minor. We can't ride with that shit. We're going to look like a damn fool. They're all going to laugh at us if we sit up here and do that. But, but, out of Junior Cag, David Harris, Got some good ass wood, or you all just crazy as hell. I don't know what to believe. I'd rather believe the latter. But at the same time, I mean, damn, it can't be all lit if you go into a room that don't even have blinds up. Yes, I have to go there. Look at this room and look at that sheet on the wall. I mean, you got a whole sheet on the wall with some damn duct tape. That's the first time I've ever seen that. At least some people put nails on the wall. But damn, if you would get off your ass and stop having sex all damn day long, and true, I know it was a damn, uh, you know, pandemic is still going on a little bit, even though it's fading out. But at the same time, you could be doing something. I mean, are you an essential worker or a non-essential worker? Because one thing about it, one thing about it, Miss Sierra Dewberry could have killed this poor woman, Diamond. Could have killed this poor young lady. Sad thing, but Diamond, boo-boo, let this be a lesson to you. Let this be a lesson to you. Leave men alone. Leave taking men alone. And leave men alone as damn near old enough to be your daddy also. Because I'm not from Georgia. All this was given to me. These are the facts to the case. And if anybody knows anything else, they want to chime in the comment section, please do so. But at the same time, I mean, no cookie, no sex is worth getting your brains knocked out. That's just hard as hell. Now, me, personally, number one, I don't believe in cheating. But number two, 
If I'm going to cheat, I'm going to do it very well. And number three, what I'm right around. If you come in there and you try to hit me with a damn frying pan, that's going to be your ass. One of us going to have to go because that video would not get out. But how in the hell can you videotape you assaulting, beating a living, what we call shit out somebody, and then put up a damn GoFundMe link and stuff about, please save me. They're trying to take me away from my four kids. It seemed like to me that you was already away from your four kids in this nasty bedroom with a damn sheet on the wall with duct tape. So you weren't really studying your four kids because if you was, you would have been right with them instead of in trouble with the police and everything else. But I will keep you all updated for as the charges go or whatnot or what they plan to do with this woman, Sierra Dewberry. But also, but also, the guy in question, David Harris, he should be charged also. Number one, if that's really a minor, he should be charged with some kind of corner knowledge of a juvenile or something. But you all let me know what you think. But the best thing to do, like I said, get somebody around your age, get somebody who is not taken, and get somebody who you can trust. Stop laying up with all these damn Tom, Dicks, and Harrys, and also these for JJs, and then you waking up with knots on your head or goddamn STDs. It's not worth it in the end. Trust me, it's not worth it in the end. Too many people have got their brains blown out and damn near knocked out and knocked out for people to be sitting up here listening to their sex organs. Listen to your mind. Stop listening to your damn coochies. Stop listening to your woods and all this. Some of you all may be laughing at that. That's fine. But anyway, you all go check the link out. I know you all heard the sounds or whatnot. Go check the full video out if you want to. Hopefully, hopefully that Miss Diamond can get some justice from this. And David Harris, you're down wrong. You're down wrong, number one, for laying up in your mama house a grown man. And then, number two, for having a minor in there and allegedly, if this girl is really 16 years old. And poor Diamond, let this be a listen to you. And Sierra Dewberry. You need to go try out for the New York Yankees or some damn body, the damn Baltimore Ravens or somebody. I mean, it's a lot more you can do with your arm instead of sitting up here swinging on people who you catch with your damn supposedly boo. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this, and I'll keep you all updated. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends. For those who are thinking about cheating and getting a creeper on, just let them know. The Eye of the Ranger is always up on them. Anyway, you all take care. Have a blessed weekend, and like I say, wash your hands, wash your face. Some of y'all don't wash your face. And also, wash your ass, but more than anything, more than anything, keep your ass tight, and I'm out.